business dad. <laughs> Dadpreneurs. I wanted to take a couple of minutes just to drop a, a video over to Liam. Liam's very um, energetically started up his new business and the core of his business is around helping other dads in business. And I think that's really, that really resonates with me because, you know, I've got massive respect for, for my wife and, and all the women in my life. But as a dad, I often felt kind of left behind a bit, if I'm honest. Um, you get all these mum pamper packs and, and lots of different pieces. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely... My missus is the most amazing woman in the world and what she's gone through with childbirth and, and everything else. I don't know how she did it. I Honestly, she amazes me every single day. But that doesn't mean that we can't celebrate dads at the same time. Um, and there's a lot of dads out there that I don't... I don't resonate with their parenting style. The dads that are a bit standoffish, that, that don't get involved, that don't change nappies, that, you know, hello, little man out for a walk, right? Um, I'm not that kind of dad. Everyone for themselves, you know, I'm not gonna go after people, but for me, being a dad, it's it's easy to be lost in things. You know, when, when mum's had the baby, everybody comes and asks how mum is, and it's, Quite often, dad who's running about like an arsehole around the house, looking after everyone, making sure everything's nailed on, um, helping make sure mum's okay, looking after baby, looking after all the children, looking after the house, bringing, you know, money in the door because mum's on maternity leave and it's maybe not as much as she was earning. All those pressures, dads are dealing with that. And I very rarely see anybody comment on that even, let alone support it. So hats off. To, to Liam and what he's doing. And I just wanted to record a couple of things was best and worst moments of being a dadpreneur for me so far, at least. Um, so I'm gonna start with the worst moments was when I had a client leave. And at the time I'd made the mistake of leaving most of my revenue hang on one particular client. Now. The, why the client left is irrelevant. Um, it was nothing of their own doing. They didn't choose to leave me. It just needed to happen. We parted ways. We'll probably work together at some point in the future. But that massive hole in my revenue, that crippled me because at that point in time, I was trying to convince my wife that she could come back from maternity leave and come and join me. Not go back to a job. Come and join me, work from home, have a great life. And she just started to come round to that idea. And all of a sudden, I was left with a gaping hole in my revenue. I didn't even know whether we were going to get paid at the end of the month. Um, somebody who spent 15 years of their career in, in salary positions, in retail, in leadership positions, I really, really hurt. Um, and I was scared shitless, I'm not going to lie. That was horrendous. Um, we got through it. We got through it. But the worry, the anxiety, the the absolute law that I felt like I wasn't providing for my family at that moment in time. Like, there's very little in this world that's as debilitating as that. Um, my only advice, if you're going through that or you're you've you're worried that you might go through that, is you've got to. And nobody else is coming to rescue you, right? That's the brutal honest truth. Nobody else is coming to rescue you. Um, so, other than taking protection and making sure that you've got insurance and cover and, and things like that the very best that you can do is to learn from that mistake, double down on your efforts and move on. And we did that and we moved on and things are great now, you know, fantastic. Um, but it's, it's far, from a, far from a walk in the park, this shit. Um, and the best moment as a dad um, was coming home from having my second son bringing my wife home, taking the time I needed to do it, um, picking up little, my other little boy's five, well he's six now, picking him up from his nan and granddad's, bringing them back home, and my wife going, so when are you back at work then? And I'm like, when I feel like it. You know, I've got my clients, and I'll always make sure their work's done, but being in charge of that decision, not needing to ask anyone, can I go and support my family? Um, that was liberating, absolutely liberating. And, you know, there's, there's been a lot of moments like that. 
Um, one of my biggest clients today, it was probably another one, you know, knowing that I've secured financial stability for my family um, and the ability to then be able to say to my wife, go and do what you want to do. Like, if you don't want to do the job you're doing, don't do the job you're doing. If you do, do it, but take all the pressure off your shoulders because at any point, if you wanted to walk out, we've got the financial security to do it. Um, that makes it all worthwhile. So if you're on the edge about whether to become a dadpreneur or not, double down on whether you've got the right product, the service, the business idea, and the right people behind it first. But there'll never be a perfect moment to launch it, so go do it. I've never been happier.